After the Second Vatican Council, around the 1960s, a lot of the various monasteries and abbeys decided to modernise, and uh, so they, they thought, we don't need all these hours of singing Gregorian chant. And so this particular abbey, it's a real abbey, and they, it was scientifically sort of uh, assessed, these, they decided, the, the abbot there decided to reduce the amount of chant, because it was just seen to be not necessary. Um, what they noticed when they reduced the Gorian chant, the time they spent chanting in their, in their church, the monks suddenly became very tired, listless. Um, the, the, the accounts say, and they were dragging themselves around like wet dish rags. They, couldn't, they didn't know the connection at the time. And then they thought, well, maybe we just let them have more sleep. So no more night office, you can have a good eight hours sleep every night. Still, they were very tired. Okay. We're going to give you some meat in your diet because traditionally Benedictines are vegetarian. So we'll give you, a, I don't know, a big steak every day, see if that will give you energy. No, nothing worked. Then someone thought, what, what have we done different in the last, say, five or six years? And someone said, well, we don't do very much Gregorian chant anymore. Okay, let's go back and start doing that. And they actually brought scientists in to assess the whole feeling. In a sense, they were assessing the vibration, the energy level. And what they really discovered was the Gregorian chant not only energized the monks, it energized the building itself. And so once they returned to their normal routine of singing the chant five or six times a day, suddenly their energy returned. It was just an amazing story. Oh, Thank you.